Mercury, also known as Quicksilver, has been around for more than 3,500 years. In fact, the first traces of pure Mercury has been said to have been found in the tombs of the deceased. One of the more famous incidents with Mercury is when archaeologists was uncovering the terracotta army of the first emperor of China. They found layers of Mercury surrounding the tomb of the emperor. Back then, there were not much uses for mercury since the technology at that time are not optimized. But now, people discovered a lot of uses of mercury that may impact the human race and possibly save us. In this video, I will be further discussing what mercury is, what its properties are, and how it impacts our lives or what benefits it will bring to us. Mercury, which has a chemical symbol of Hg, is the 80th element of the periodic table. It is a group 12 element and it is located on the sixth period. It is considered to be a heavy metal due to the weight of the nuclei of the element. It has a silvery appearance just like every other metals. The reason this element is very special and different from other elements is because of the state of the metal during standard atmospheric pressure and temperature. It's the only metal to take a liquid form instead of a solid form, which means that mercury has a low melting point and boiling point compared to other metals. Its melting point is negative 38.8 degrees Celsius and its boiling point is 356.73 degrees Celsius, which means if you bring mercury down to a temperature lower than its melting point, it becomes a solid. Mercury also has a relatively low boiling point, which means that it is fairly easy to distillate and clean mercury because less energy is required to boil it. When you put coins in water, it sinks. But if you put coins on mercury, it will float because the density of mercury is 13.5 times the density of that of water. Just like every other metals, mercury can conduct electricity due to the sea of delocalized electrons and mercury ions. For example, the tilt switch. When tilted the right way, the mercury would close the circuit and conduct electricity. But unfortunately, mercury is a poor conductor of heat. Mercury isn't really that reactive when comparing to neighboring metals like cadmium or zinc and it doesn't really react with acids and bases that well. But one interesting property of mercury is the ability to form amalgams with other metals. An amalgam is basically an alloy between mercury and some other metal. Most notably to mention is the amalgamation between aluminum metal and mercury. Due to its oxide layer, aluminum and mercury cannot react on their own. Sandpaper or anything to remove its oxide layer is needed to let the mercury touch the actual metal. The reaction is quite slow, but the mercury eats away the aluminum to form a tower-like structure to form aluminum amalgam. Mercury also has a high coefficient of thermal expansion. In simpler terms, the atoms which make up mercury metal tends to vibrate faster at a larger rate when heated because energy is applied. This makes the metal expand in size and take up more space. This is why mercury is used in thermometers today. When there's a minimal change in temperature of, for example, a patient, mercury is able to clearly show us whether the patient has a fever or not. It turns out that mercury works out better than alcohol in thermometers because of this property. Mercury are found naturally but are not pure forms of mercury. In fact, they come as a brick red form of cinnabar, also known as mercury sulfide. As mentioned above, mercury has a low boiling point. Roasting the mercury sulfide with air to above its boiling point will evaporate the mercury and something is required to catch the mercury vapor to condense it. This method of collecting mercury is called distillation and there's certainly more ways to extract mercury. A chemical way to extract mercury is called hydrometallurgy. Mercury can be leached from ores and concentrates with a solution of sodium hydroxide and sodium sulfide. 
it then can be recovered by precipitation with aluminum or by electrolysis. As of October 2021, one kilogram of mercury costs around $215, which is equivalent to 20 cents per gram of mercury. So it's affordable to get your hands on them. In 2020 alone, a total of 3,700 metric tons of mercury is produced, in which China was the largest producer of mercury, with 87.5% of the world's total mercury production that year. Mercury is not really toxic for humans to touch or consume, believe it or not, due to its unreactive nature. It takes a long time for mercury to absorb into our skin after coming into contact with it. But just to be safe, you should always wash the affected area with cool running water immediately. Also, it is said that it is possible for mercury to go through our digestive system without doing significant damage to our body. Mercury is still toxic and dangerous though. And also, Consuming mercury would be the last thing you would do in your life. What is very dangerous about mercury is the vapors it leads out. These vapors are colorless and odorless, which makes the person unaware of breathing in such vapors. Breathing in mercury vapor may affect digestive and immune systems, and on lungs, kidneys, skin, and eyes. And also, mercury tends to bioaccumulate because it is a persistent substance and it builds up over time when exposed to mercury, causing you to suffer from mercury poisoning. So when dealing with mercury, it is best advised to use it only in closed systems such as film cupboards to prevent exposures to the toxic vapors. It is also a good idea to wear gloves and safety goggles as well because who knows what's gonna happen next in chemistry. In order to safely store mercury, you gotta make sure that the container containing the mercury should be tightly shut from the top because we don't want those toxic vapors leaking out and slowly killing us while we are not noticing. If you want to dispose mercury, definitely do not pour it down the drain because it may lodge in the plumbing and cause future problems during plumbing repairs. If discharged, it can cause pollution of the septic tank or the sewage treatment plant. What to do is tightly seal the mercury in like a zipper bag and then put the bag into the container with a tight lid once again. Then we can bring it to some recycling centers or some hardware stores for disposal. Mercury has benefited a lot of industries, most notably the healthcare industry. Everybody should know that mercury is used in thermometers, but it is also used by dentists to prevent further tooth decay. Dental amalgam which is powdered mercury alloy composed of silver, tin, and copper, is used to fill cavities for damaged teeth caused by tooth decay. It is a strong and long-lasting material, which is unlikely to break than other types of fillings. It is also inexpensive and relatively easy to use at the same time. It starts from being soft when put in the damaged teeth to adjust to the size and shape of the cavity, and slowly toughens up after a while. Other than healthcare, mercury vapor is used in some streetlights, fluorescent lamps, and signs, while mercury liquid is used in scientific instruments such as barometers in order to help scientists to perform accurate measurements. Mercury is a highly toxic pollutant, which means that when let off by factories from fuel combustion, liquid mercury and mercury vapor will be able to damage our environment. When mercury is in the ocean, it causes water pollution and damages the living environment of multiple species or organisms which are living there. Since mercury is bioaccumulative, fishes and all that may consume the mercury and harming themselves at the same time. This will greatly reduce the biodiversity in the ocean and cause ecological imbalances. Even worse, we consume fish type products ever so often and those products may consist of what is called methylmercury. It may cause health-related problems if we are unlucky. And for toxic mercury vapors, it can cause air pollution and contaminate the air that we breathe in, also leading to some undesirable harming to our bodies. At the end of the day, we should prevent carelessly disposing dangerous substances like mercury into nature. 
This is because not only it will destroy the natural habitats of different species, it will also bring harm to ourselves, causing sickness and diseases. Nonetheless, mercury is undeniably one of the things that humans could not live without. Despite its toxic nature, mercury has helped us save numerous lives and aided many major discoveries. Like every other element on the periodic table, each element exists for a reason and all elements have different properties to fulfill different needs of people. And mercury is no different. <laughs>